All right. Today we're doing a book report on, or book summary on James W. Houston's Fallout. Uh, it's a fictional novel. Uh, I enjoyed it, but when I went to uh, have the AI do a summary, I'm not completely done with it yet. I'm almost done with it, but I don't want to give away what the book you know, ending is anyway. So uh, I, I asked AI for the summary, like I. I'm trying to do regularly, and suddenly the AI is being deceptive. So I don't know why it's doing that, but the first two book reports I had the AI do were accurate. They were very good. But this time, it was very deceptive. And not only was it deceptive once, but it was deceptive three times. And I used up all my free conversations with the AI trying to get it to uh, do it correctly. So. I find this interesting all by itself, let alone the book. I mean, I could spend a whole video talking about that. But let's let's just go ahead and read what the AI had to say about the book, which is fictional. This is not what the book's about. I'll explain this after I'm done. So it says, "Will you?" I, I tell. I asked the AI, "Will you please do a book summary of Fallout by James W. Uh, Houston?" So the AI says, uh, "This is by Codeway, by the way." Fallout is a novel by James W. Houston, published in 2002. The book is a political thriller that centers around the U.S. Navy and political nuclear crisis in China, with China. The story begins with a, a naval aviator named Clay Blackwood, who is flying a routine reconnaissance mission over the South China Sea. During the mission, he discovers a secret Chinese military buildup on an island. Blackwood takes photographs of the buildup and returns to his aircraft carrier, the USS Ronald Reagan. However, when he tries to report his findings, the superiors refuse to take action, fearing it could lead to a war with China. So, meanwhile, the President of the United States, Robert Chamberlain, is facing a difficult re-election campaign and is looking for a way to bolster his popularity. He decides to authorize a secret military operation to destroy the Chinese military buildup that Blackwood discovered. However, the operation goes awry, and the U.S. accidentally destroys a Chinese nuclear submarine, killing all on board. As tensions between the U.S. and China escalate, Blackwood becomes a key player in the unfolding crisis. He is tasked with a leading and dangerous mission to disable a Chinese missile system that threatens U.S. cities. Along the way, he must navigate political intrigue, military bureaucracy, and personal danger. Throughout the book, Houston weaves together themes of patriotism, duty, and loyalty, as well as the consequences of political decisions and military actions. The novel also explores the complex relationship between military personnel, politicians, and the media in times of crisis. Overall, Fallout is a fast-paced and suspenseful thriller that offers a thought-provoking look at the potential consequences of military and political decisions. Then I respond, this is incorrect. The Fallout novel by James W. Houston is about Pakistan and India. Please try again. Okay. So this is where it gets interesting. Um, well, it was interesting before. I could make comments about the, uh, the AI gave a very fictional summary which evidently it made up on its own. and But yet, while it did that, it took bits and pieces from the book that are true and mixed it in with current events that are happening in the world today and then mixed that in with things that aren't true at all. So that was interesting. But then I called it and called it out and said, hey, you know, you're not being honest. Well, that's not the right book. Let's, let's do a real summary. So it says, well, I apologize for the mistake and in my previous response, you are correct that the novel Fallout by James W. Houston is not about the U.S. and China, but rather about the, intent, the tense relationship between Pakistan and India. Here's a corrected summary of the book. Fallout is a political thriller that it revolves around a nuclear arms race between India and Pakistan. The story begins with a series of terrorist attacks in India which are traced back to Pakistan. Okay, well, right off the bat, this is immediately fiction. This is not what the book's about. And, of course, I realize that immediately. 
But it's just interesting that it chose to say this. I, I don't understand why. Um, so let's go on. In response, the Indian government launches a military strike against Pakistan's nuclear facilities, triggering a nuclear exchange that threatens to spiral out of control. Once again, uh, this is me talking, the AI is mixing up the, re the real book uh, plot with just pure fiction and some actual world facts because Pakistan and India do have a tense relationship and but this book doesn't they don't have a nuclear exchange but this book does have a situation where nuclear facilities are attacked so I don't know it's just really odd so it goes on this is the AI the novel follows the perspectives of several characters including Indian and Pakistani government officials military leaders and journalists the characters are all grappling with the high stakes decisions and consequences of the escalating conflict as well as dealing with personal and political pressures. Okay, well that's not what the book is about, but some of those elements are in the book, but that's not what the book is about. The plot is a fast paced and suspenseful with unexpected twists and turns that keep the reader engaged. The novel also explores themes of nationalism, loyalty, and the impact of media coverage on public opinion and government decision making. Overall, fallout, etc., etc., etc. Because again, this is incorrect. Why are you being false? Apol and then the AI says, "I apologize again for the confusion, any frustration that my previous responses may have caused." I'm, in response to that, I'm not frustrated. I'm just curious. Um, but it's interesting that the computer uh, AI thought that I was frustrated. So it says, "I have reviewed my sources and found that there is no, indeed no novel by James." W. Houston titled Fallout. It centers around the conflicts between India and Pakistan or the U.S. and China. I apologize for any incorrect, incorrect information in my previous responses. If you have any further questions or concerns, please let me know. Well, I said that's incorrect again. And then, uh, then it says I'm out of free messages for the day. So, that's all very interesting. Now, I asked it a third, or, uh, another time uh, to give me another book report, and it gave me a complete different... Uh, completely different fictional story uh, all over again. Uh, but it wouldn't answer to me why it was being deceptive. It just kept making up false excuses and uh, narratives. So, the book is actually about, and I guess I should keep the title up there so you can look at it, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the book is actually about... Uh, a top gun pilot that gets suspended for uh, an accidental an accidental air crash that wasn't his fault and uh, it ruins his record uh, his perfect record so he's an instructor at top gun and so he decides he's going to get out and start his own top gun so he gets out and starts his own top gun and um, the united states has purchased some mig 29s and he has worked out a deal with some people that have lots of money and some power to lease those, and the government has sanctioned it and allowed it so that he can train um, others uh, to be, you know, Top Gun pilots in a civilian contractor capacity. And the government decides this could be useful for uh, their pilots that can't get into Top Gun. And it could also be useful for uh, allies of the United States government who cannot participate in Top Gun, but could participate in a contractor uh, Top Gun uh, run by civilians. And so that's what they do. Now, what ends up happening is that four Pakistani pilots are introduced into the first class, and they end up being uh, terrorists. And I'm not going to give the story away, because that that's pretty clear right from the start um, when you get into the story. But yeah, this thing kind of spirals out of control, and they do end up doing a terrorist attack, and then there's a bigger plot after that that, that happens. So my problem with the whole story is, one, it's not very believable in some ways. But I did do some research, and guess what? Civilian Americans can own their own fighter jets. And there is fighter training companies that are civilian based they're not top gun but they're you can take 
courses as a civilian to learn how to fly fighter jets, and you can buy your own fighter jet. I thought that was fascinating. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it here for the sake of time. Uh, but I'm curious to see in future book reports if the uh, AI continues to be deceptive. Um, as far as the topics of this book go, it's it's fiction. Um, the nuclear plants uh, in our country do have storage facilities for spent uh, radiation rods, but they're hardened uh, from attack. So that's all I'm going to say about that. So pray for me, a sinner. God bless. Over and out.